PayPal and subscribe. See, I did it. And Bruce Party is the executive director of Rights, Rights Probe, and joins me right now because I want to put the question to you. It seems that we're into an age of incivility when people with garbage bags can fill those bags in stores with all kinds of loot and walk out with impunity. The police won't do anything. And yet, if you use the wrong pronoun, bam, you're going to end up in jail. Yes. I mean, really? What? How did we get our, our pri priorities so screwed up? Repressive tolerance is what it is. Repressive tolerance is a term uh, that comes from uh, Herbert Marcuse, who's a critical theorist who wrote a, wrote a piece with that title, basically saying movements from the left must be tolerated, even if they are violent. Why? Well, it's part of the ideology. Now, let me finish. Movements from the right must not be tolerated, even if crushing them requires violence. In other words, this is a campaign. It's part of an agenda. And it's the explanation for why things are not even-handed now. They're not neutral. This is Canada. Yes. This is not some crazy society. We are peace, order, and good government. Well, Gentle people and doing the right thing. But we may have moved on from that, I'm afraid. We still believe in peace, order, and good government, sometimes to our detriment. But it comes along now with an uneven hand, which it means that some things will be tolerated, like blocking railways and burning churches, and other things will not be tolerated, like driving your truck to, to Ottawa. Well, uh, absolutely right. I mean, there were churches scorched all across Canada. The federal government did nothing about it and said, well, it's okay. And now we're into the trial of uh, the organizers, the ringleaders in Ottawa. Right. My bet is that there isn't a, a court that can find them guilty. Well, let's, let's, let's find out. But I mean, in, in a way, the Canadian judicial system in this trial is itself on trial. We'll see what happens. Well, we will. But I read the statement of the, uh, of the Crown at the start. And I mean, <laughs> even in that statement, it doesn't look like they didn't think it does illegal. Not. And it, yet we have yes. in Canada the Crown, you know, chasing this woman from across to Alberta to bring her back for having her picture taken. And not just that, she spent 49 days in jail. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 before her trial occurred, she was not treated in the same way as accused people of all kinds of other crimes. And we let gunmen out all the time. Mur people accused of murder out sure. all the time. Yeah. Thieves out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you steal a car? Well, come back tomorrow now, and I will get another now, one. Now, the good news is that when she was put in jail twice, Superior Court judges reversed those orders. Yeah. So there's, there, there is good but news. But there are people in the justice system, like these Crown prosecutors, sure. who are getting their directions for something. We're saying, sure. nail this woman to the ground. Yep. Yeah. So I'm glad you're on, and I'm glad you continue to fight for justice. Three minutes. That's good. Liberties and freedom of speech are under attack in Canada like never before. So let's keep this discussion on the air. PayPal. Write a check, and please include your address so I can write a thank you letter to you. And ask your friends, please subscribe. It's important to keep this on the air. And thank you.